So the bins, I don't know how it's been for y'all, but for us, the bins in our location, in our area, has gotten crazy. Just yeah. so busy. Like, I got to show you this clip that I took. This is quite possibly the busiest I've ever seen it here. It's just wild. It's I don't know, like, the secret's out, the cat's out of the bag. Is that the right term and all I guess, yeah. Um, but people know about the bins now, at least around here. So <laughs> it's it's getting crazy packed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We had to—I could not find a cart this time, which usually I can find a cart, but it's been getting worse and worse. Yeah. So I actually had to just, like, find a guy that was starting to leave and ask him for his cart. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, no spots in the parking lot. We had to circle the parking lot four times, I guess, until we found a spot, which has never happened before with yeah. us. But, yeah. Also, Saturday at 2 o'clock. I guess, but I don't, yeah. We've been there on Saturdays before, and it hasn't been it this crazy. It still hasn't crazy. been that crazy. But we haven't been in a long time. Uh, yeah, I mean, two weeks ago. No, I mean, like, on a weekend. That's true. We usually go during the middle of the week, which I'm I'm sure is better. But yeah, weekend bins. Whew. I don't yeah. know if I can do it anymore. Yeah, I uh, got a wild hair and I was like, you know what? I really want to go to the bins today. Do you want to go? And Ryan was like, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and we got there and he was like, I hate this. But yeah. then we ended up liking it. It took me. It took me a little bit. Yeah, just all how crowded it was. Like immediately, my anxiety was like. Pfft. And I was just, like, dead inside a little yeah, bit. Yeah, It started in the parking lot when we couldn't find a parking spot for at least, I don't know, it was probably seven minutes of just trying to find a parking spot. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I had to just put my headphones in right when we got there and just, like, tune out everything and just <laughs> listen to some music and calm down. That's what I did, too. Yeah. Because there were screaming kids, and that's my favorite. Um, yeah, so I just was, like, vibing to my music. Yep. But as bad and as crowded as it was on Saturday, we actually had a pretty decent haul. Yeah. yeah we got, like, yeah. so much stuff for ourselves. We did. So we we're going to go over that first. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was a combination of both because... I, sometimes I consider weekend trips to be more like our thing, mm -hmm. and then when we're sourcing during the week, it's more for our business. So, yeah. And I was looking for some stuff. This sweatshirt is the first thing, actually. This is like a really nice Vans hoodie, and it's like, it seems like it's pretty much new. Um, and yeah, I was stoked to find this. It's like a heavy Vans hoodie. And I washed something, so we like washed all this stuff. Covered in cat hair. First. <laughs> and something got all this white fuzz on all the black stuff, including this. And I lint rolled and I lint rolled. But I think that this is like maybe our cat's hair. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mr. <see>. Smokey. <laughs> yeah, he uh, may join us. Well, not that you wouldn't be able to see him because we're up higher today, but mm -hmm. he's sleeping in the other room right now. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Cool hoodie. Um, also, these pants. <laughs> yeah, these yeah. are these are Levi's. Levi's gray pants, which you were looking for some more gray pants. Yeah, or which some. are also in really good condition, and um, I don't think they're anything like special. They're not. I don't think they're denim though. They're some kind of cotton uh, Levi's. Mm -hmm. I like them though. I've been looking for some gray pants for a while. Yeah, and then I'm sporting. A loft cardigan. Loft. And then a Knox Rose pink sweater. Oh. Which you also found at Which the I Rose. found at the Vince. It's, you know what, this job is cool because not only can you make money by flipping stuff from the bins, but you can also find full outfits for yourself for really cheap. Yeah. Like, less than probably $5. Yeah. It's fun, because I can just be like, oh, I want to try this, and I'll try it out for a few months, and then if I'm not in love with it, I can get rid of it and find something new, and, like, you can just kind of yeah switch stuff out. Maybe we should go over, yeah, we should go over what we found for ourselves first, which was a lot, a lot more than we yeah. 
usually fine. So this is more of a shopping spree haul. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, do you guys care whether or not we keep it or we sell it? Like, you guys probably just want to see what we found, right? It's show and tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably depends, but yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. This is another loft piece, and it's just another kind of like... I'm pretty sure this is where I got the white shows all over I everything. I don't know about it, because there was something else. And this is not... <laughs> anyways. But yeah. This. That's a, a hoodie huh? cardigan? Yeah. Yeah. I might just, like, have it for a little bit and consign it, but... Dude, we find these yeah, this really is... often... Banana Republic, and it's a military coat. That's the style. It's made of Italian fabric. And I'm going to keep this for myself for a little bit. It's got one little flaw I see on the back. Yeah. No, I'm getting yawning. It has a little bit of wear, but it's not too bad. But we find Banana Republic coats at this bins all the time. It's weird. Yeah. Like, don't, like, aren't those, like, $400 brand new? Like, hello? It's crazy, Banana Republic. Here, that's our. Like I, I'm sometimes surprised at what we find at this bin. Oh version. yeah, yeah. Banana Republic retails for a lot. It doesn't resell for as much as you would expect, but uh, some things do okay. Yeah, but yeah, like for me, like if I am like, oh, I had spent a lot of money on this coat. Like I wouldn't want to just give it away. I know. To the bins. I don't know. What? I don't know. That's just me. Th what is this? Is this also keep to keep? Yeah. So this is an interesting, sh like a shacket, but it's made out of, um, what is this material? It's like it's like fleece, like isn't a, it? Yeah, like a fleece, yeah. like a soft. It's really soft. Um, and it's by this brand, Freedom Country, which I don't think I've heard <laughs> of before, but I I I liked this. I think I'm gonna keep it for myself and try it out for a little bit and if I don't like it maybe we can just sell consign it or something it. or mm -hmm. consign it because I feel like shackets especially can sign well mm -hmm. so that is cool it's really soft and comfy um, this is a black linen shirt from Everlane which I'm also keeping for myself ah, if I can get a hold of it yeah I picked this up to sell, and then I was, like, yeah. going through stuff, and I'm like, wait, do you want to try this on? And it works great for Ryan, so. Yeah, and I don't, I don't own anything that's linen, so now I do. That'll be good for, like, summer weddings. Yeah, this maybe. feels like it's really, it'd be really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> and then that. This is for my mom to try. So, Mom, if you're watching, hi, Mom. <laughs> um, this is Lucky Brand. And it is this kind of tunic boho top. Boo so I'll see if she likes that. If not, I will consign it. As well. Um, oh, and then I also got... I got this purse to maybe, like, consign. Um, but then I was like, you know what? I actually have the same... This is Relic by Fossil. I have the same Always with purse. the fossil relic. I find a lot of fossil stuff. It's kind of bent weird. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I've got to figure that out. But, um, yeah, I have the same purse in, like, a tan color that I literally photographed to sell. And then I was like, I want it. And so I'm thinking of keeping this because I also, I just like this style and getting rid of m one of my other um black bags to replace that. So, I think that's everything we got for us. Is it? Yeah, I think so. That Not that? Yeah, that's not for me. I mean, it's nice. Cool. So, yeah. Pretty good haul for ourselves. Yeah. For just a few, just, just a few dollars. Well, yeah. maybe not, a, you know, probably ten bucks. I think we spent thirty... 39 something like that. Mm -hmm. It was under 40 total yeah. for this haul, mm -hmm. which is pretty dope. Pretty dope. So we're just going to move that out of the way. Now this is the stuff that's for the business, for consignment, mm -hmm. and for to maybe resell. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to start with that? Yeah. This one we are going to sell ourselves, 
and it is this suitcase. It's like a... Gosh, what is the brand? Is it Swiss gear? No, it looks like it. Yeah, it's Wanger. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you sure it's we Wenger? Wenger. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Like this briefcase, suitcase thing. It's in really good shape, and it is... It rolls. Yeah. Um, it's from... Wenger. Wenger. <laughs> um, and I also found a quarter in it, so <laughs> there you go. Yay! <laughs> I was looking Party at... Already making money off that. <laughs> I was looking at solds, and I think there was, like, it was kind of around maybe 40, 45 that we could expect. There were some that were, like, listed for way less, but I did see some solds in that range. So I might just list it, wait it out, and, you know, yeah. do that. This... I'm also planning to sell on Poshmark specifically. I don't think I saw that. No, I just grabbed this kind of towards the end. It <laughs> it has a uh, <laughs> some wipe wipes. Your Cottonelle Fresh wipes. <laughs> <laughs> Those are always we? always needed these days. <laughs> it's always an adventure. Um, there's some matches. Really? Uh, <laughs> Whoa. Let's see what we've got There's a here. a bunch of junk in there. Got some wipes <laughs> from like... Gross. I did not. Some, I did not clean these yet. Like Wendy's wipes? <laughs> when you go to... Or, a fresh nap. Moist <laughs> tell it. I'll show you a fresh uh, nap. <laughs> wipe and clear. They got a lot of wipes. Must have belonged to... Like, must have belonged to like somebody's grandma. Flushable moist wipes. Oh, Nice and actually. clean lens cleaning wipes. They just like Ooh, were a wipe that. collector. Um, biodegradable lens wipe. <coughs> Spirit Mountain Casino matches. 100% belong to somebody's grandma. Absolutely. And a big old band-aid. <laughs> it's not used. <laughs> we found worse at the bins. <laughs> um... It's always an adventure. That 100% was somebody's grandma. And Absolutely. The, the Spirit Mountain Casino matches are what gave it away. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, but this brand is Banus. I think that's how you pronounce it. B Banus. I'm just in such a, like, a silly <laughs> mood right now. Um, it was the wipes that did it. Uh, <laughs> you should check. Make sure you should check that whole thing. And make sure there's no I more always money do. or anything. I always do. There. Like before, I you know when I'm clean. It also has this like Disney mini? Parks mini mouse um, keychain. So that's cool. That's an extra is plus. That, is that valuable? You know, that's kind of my heavy. guess is that I could probably get ten or fifteen bucks. Is it good? But it's kind of fun to like list so i might just list it anyway it was made in china it it's not like it's doesn't necessarily crazy. mean it's not gold but it's probably not gold. it's not gold <laughs> <laughs> um anyways yeah so there's a little bit of wear to this but not too bad and where i <laughs> i um couldn't find anything really on ebay about this but on poshmark i was seeing solds for like 80 ish 60, 80, so wow. that's cool. I never heard of that brand. Just looks kind of fancy, and I was like, huh, let's look it up. I'm also going to sell the wipes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you got to keep those for you. Ew. <laughs> no, They're I'm good. They're packaged. Ew. I, I, yeah, I know. <laughs> We but literally like, how buy gross does that sound? We literally buy people's used clothing from I know, stores and I wipe. know. Isn't that and that's, wild? Yeah, but but you're hung up about the the, the, wipes. the closed wipes? Well, I don't know. I am hung up about it. Yeah, and I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Just, you know, there's certain standards. I don't, yeah, it's like... I'll if wear you, somebody's pants, but I will not use their closed wipes. If you got <laughs> wipes from the bins, like... I would understand. Like, I wouldn't judge you. But for me, I just, there's, there's like a block there <laughs> for me. I don't know. Well, okay, fair enough. That's just me. <laughs> um, yeah. So this whole bag, box, box, um, bin. Is, bin, gosh, I'm just loopy today, <laughs> okay, all right. um, is stuff for consignment. 
Ah. So. Yes. The consignment places. Yes. A lot of stuff for consignment. Um, we got our Nordstrom. I was thinking about selling this, and I might sell this. Maybe I should sell this. It does have a hole, of course. You know, you get home, and then you find... You found a hole? Yeah, it's, like, right there. Oh. So, I that's, might sell it myself. That's a pretty good one, too. Um, but it's... Dang. It's vintage Nordstrom. Merino wool. Wow. Made in Italy extra large. So, I might sell this one myself. That's like, well, I just had a good day on the slopes in 1994, <laughs> and uh, yeah, now we're just hanging out at the it's lodge. It's totally, yeah, I totally picture like, <laughs> just like 90s, 90s. This is Robert Graham, and this used to be a fabulous brand um, to sell, and it's not anymore. And the reason why I know this is because I got this beautiful, like, I got a shirt from Robert Graham, and it was fancier than this. Long sleeve, more substantial, and it took forever to sell. I got it at a thrift store, and I paid up, and I was just like, this is painful. Like, <laughs> um, Robert Graham is known for these, like, wild interior patterns, like, on the inside and on the flip cuff there. Hmm. So, yeah, I still pick it up because I'm like, you know, it's still a cool brand. It just doesn't sell very well, so I'm probably just going to consign this. Why does it? Why did it change? How come it used to sell well now? <sighs> you know, the demand for things changes, and I, I think it was like, it used to be really crazy. Maybe a year before I found it. Mm -hmm. um, also, if it was like a long sleeve shirt that was like a crazy pattern, I would sell it myself. Mm. But since it's just like a polo, I probably won't sell it myself. Um, this is Hugo Boss, Boss Hugo Boss, for consignment. Fancy brand, doesn't resell super awesomely. Um, I could sell this myself if I am feeling up to it. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, picked that up out of the Old Navies. <laughs> we find a lot of Old Navy in the bin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One of the most common. Yes. The most common things. Yes, yes. Um, I mean... <laughs> what? You can do you that give one. give me this dress? <laughs> I've just been realizing I I'm doing a lot of this. Yeah. This is a <clears throat> dress from New York and Company. It's kind of like a tunic dress. Um, I don't really know anything about this brand, so Tori's going to have to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I picked it up because it's new with tags. It's stretchy. And it looked like a wrap dress. I am not sure if it's actually a wrap dress. Um, I mean, and I was thinking about it for myself, but then I kind of realized that I probably wouldn't wear it, so I'm probably just going to consign it. Retailed for, like, 50 This is funny. So it was, like, original price was forty nine ninety five. Well, the second person that priced it priced it at forty nine ninety four. <laughs> One what a cent. Steal. One cent off. Wow. Yeah. This is like you'd have to be careful with this because you <laughs> fall out. <laughs> you have to you'd wear have something to, under it. Wear layers probably. with this. I mean, I mean it depends on like how unless you're really, wild you're feeling. <laughs> yeah. If you're bold, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> more power to you. I guess. That sounded bad. Woo! <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> you found that one. I did. And this one. <laughs> yeah, this is a suit jacket by the brand Gianni, and the reason I picked this up, well, it's Gianni Sport, made in USA, so I wasn't 100% sure about this, but I wanted to take a risk. I picked this brand up because when I was doing comps research on this, they had some collaborations with Versace, so yeah, this is probably nothing, but it was just <laughs> an experiment um, at you know the very least, we might be able to just consign this and get our money back on it. Helped us get to, you know, the weight yeah. we needed. And this I picked up. It's Banana Republic, but it's nice. Like, it's made of Italian yarn. And it's this really, really comfortable-looking sweater. I tried it on for myself, but it's too big. Um, but, yeah, it needs to be depilled. <laughs> Anyways, though, yeah, big, comfy <laughs> sweater. We'll probably be able to make something on that. Not Maybe not a ton, but, yeah. 
We'll definitely make our monies back and then some. This stuff is for me to send to thread up. This is a Vince. 100% silk. I didn't realize that until I got it home. Wow. Um, dress. Are you sure you don't want to try to sell that? Pretty sure. I've had not the best experience with Vince. And I don't but I don't Vince, know if this is kind of dated. Vince shoes, right? Well, That you've yeah, had trouble with? Combat boots probably did the best, but they took a long time to sell. Huh. What's, your, what's been your experience with Vince? Ours is kind of... Yeah, like she said. So-so. So-so. Some people have really good luck with Vince, so I don't know. Maybe we're just picking the wrong things to try to sell. Well, I just pick it up anytime I see it at the bins because... Why not? Yeah, like, if I send it to thread up, I'll get, like, you know, ten, fifteen dollars um, And this is really lightweight. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's my plan, just because every... Like, I don't know. When I've tried to sell it myself, it's... It's not gone super well, unless it's, like, a coat or mm. something like cashmere or something, like, yeah. Well, was that a Vince coat that got ruined that one time in the wash? I think that was Theory. Oh, Theory. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was sad. That was brutal. Yeah. Um, this is a big, heavy wool <laughs> pea coat from Kristen Blake. Which we usually don't pick up Chris and Blake, but on this one we were like, oh, it's a big heavy wool coat. Um, it's in good condition. It's like a three button, kind of almost like a navy coat. We figured this would probably be a good bet. We'll make something on this. Are you consigning this or threading yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. Um, for thread up, I'll probably, like, again, make about 15. It's Italian um, fabric made in the Dominican Republic. It's lamb's wool, too. Lamb's wool. Ooh. Yeah. That's an example of a Kristen Blake piece that is better to pick up, probably. Yeah. So that, and that also helped to get us over the weight. It the, did. It's I'm glad huge. I picked that up, because I was, like, on the fence about it, and then I was like, I eh, might as well just throw it in the cart, and it got us over the weight. Yeah, just barely. Mm hmm yes. This is... Simply a Calvin Klein shirt. And it's kind of this, like, suede material. Oh, wow. I mean, it's not suede, but it's it feels like suede. Is it Cupro? No, oh. it's just polyester, I think. But Like a microfiber. Texture. Yeah. Yeah. So we also took a little trip over to a... A secret... Or no... <laughs> To a secret Goodwill spot that we like. Yeah, in a neighboring town. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, we're calling it secret now because it's been actually a kind of a honey hole for us. It's been randomly good. I've yeah. never had good luck with Goodwill. Ever. Except for the bins. Yeah. But. If you really want to know which one it is, you could, you could do some research and delve back into our older videos and you might actually hear us talk about it. <laughs> but we're keeping it secret now. <laughs> Why was that Irish? I don't know. I don't know. We're keeping it secret now. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're I'm Irish. Irish. <laughs> um, anyways, though, we got a few good pieces to show, and I found one piece of awesome artwork that might not actually be worth anything, <laughs> but it's still really cool, so we'll show that. Um, maybe I'll just show that first. Sure, yeah. So this is the piece of artwork that I found, and it is a print by artist Patrick Nagel, or Nagel. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that, but this one's called The Sushi Girl. And this is awesome pop culture artwork from the 80s. This artist was prevalent, yeah, in the 1980s. And I just think this is really cool. And um, I was kind of doing some research on this, and I'll show, a, I'll show this, but on eBay and stuff, these his prints sell for like hundreds of dollars usually. And I was like, well, this is a good risk because this was only $8. And I'm like, in the off chance that this is real, this could be potentially worth like a hundred dollars or more. So we picked it up and I, you know, I pulled it apart and it's actually just a cutout from a magazine or a book or something. I'm not really sure. Um, probably from that time period still, but it's not a real art print, so I don't think it's actually worth as much as we thought it was. It may be worth nothing. I'm going to have to do more research on that. I'm kind of bummed that it's not worth something, because now we, like, 
I mean, we could return it, but you're, like, wanting to keep it. And it reminds me of, like, Christmas story when he's like, it's a major award. And the mom's like, great. It's not as tacky as the leg lamp. I know. I know. I think it's really cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. It's Maybe it's just something I'll keep in my man cave office, which I don't have yet. I'm going to do more research and see if it's actually worth selling <laughs> because somebody doesn't appreciate artwork. Gosh. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh. Wow. What? I got another piece of artwork I gotta show you. <laughs> oh my gosh, another, another thing. Yeah, I also, a few weeks ago, went to a Goodwill by myself in Portland and I picked this up, <laughs> which is a Leonardo da Vinci print um, from part of one of his paintings, which was called. Oh. Uh, anyways, it's like, it's supposed to be Mary and baby Jesus and the wise men. So, um, I thought that was cool. It's like a Da Vinci print. Well, it's like a, it's a cutout and it's blown up from a larger piece. But this was $12, so I thought it might be fun to try to sell this as well. Oh, did you list it? Um, I haven't, <clears throat> I haven't got around to listing that one yet. Okay. I've been busy. Yes. With client work. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that's it for the art pieces that I found recently. Yeah, so whenever we go to this Goodwill, um, we always look in, like, the jackets and coats section, and I look in the blazers a lot, too. Mm -hmm. And we found a lot of great stuff. Yes. Um, this is, we found Burberry here before. Yeah, we have, yeah. We found, what else? Um, we found Burberry. Um, we found Cool, K-U-H-L. Um... Patagonia. I can't remember. Um, yeah. Oh, there was another one too. Yeah, just a lot of good stuff. Um, so I was looking and I found a lot of. So these are in bags because I already photographed them and inventoried them. Um, but we found a lot of theory this time. outerwear, mm -hmm. um, which is exciting. Theory retails for a lot of money. Um, I found two coats and one vest. I decided not to get the tan coat. There was another one because it had like flaws and it also like the tag was, it was in weird. Chinese, I think. And it just, it didn't feel very premium. And so I was like, I don't know if this is fake or not. Yeah. Um, but this is, all right. Um, yeah. So this is just like a kind of rose blush colored coat. It's pretty lightweight and good like transitional for spring. Mm -hmm. So I've listed that. I wasn't able to find too much information on this specific coat. Um, I did list it for I think $198 or best offer. Um, so I'll just accept the best offer that comes in. Yes. And I think that was about $13. Not bad. For that. For a theory coat. Yeah. Um, this is another theory item, and it's, like, what I'm most excited about. And it is this wool cashmere, like, vest. and Like a trench vest? Yeah, it's epic, and, like, it's... That's really neat. It's quite beautiful. I didn't realize this was a vest. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, like, thinking about borrowing it for, like, Valentine's Day or something. It's just so pretty. Um, but I got it home and looked up the style name and everything and found out that it retailed for $655. Whoa. And I was like, oh, my goodness. I got it for, like, $13. Um, so that is exciting. And so what I did, I put the the retail amount in the title um, so people can understand how much it's worth and I just have it like a little bit less than half off so I think I listed it for two ninety eight or best offer and I'll just accept the best offer so man it's also like not available anymore so that was a great find exclusivity yes it's very good helps with pricing stuff 
Yes, some marketing tips are if you can find the original price and it's like insane, put that in the title at the beginning um, or the end, but like putting it in the title, I think helps people realize how much of a deal they're getting because mm. like as humans, we love to get a deal. Like if I see that something retailed for $500 and I'm getting it for 60, I'm like, this is the biggest deal ever. <laughs> but if it's just like, this is $60, I'm more likely to be like, well, do I need to pay $60? Like, right. Yeah. So that excites people getting a crazy deal. And also if it's sold out, put that in the title or the description because it's like no longer available. So mm -hmm. um, those things help with moving your items. Yes. Should uh, I do any of these or do you just want to finish it out? Sure. Yeah. I, mean, I can. I showed my art. Yeah. Art. So this is a sweater. I didn't look too closely at the sweater section, but I just noticed this on the end. And it's Lanvin collection. It just looked really premium and felt really premium. And so I was like, okay, I will look into this. And apparently it's a thing. Um, it's like a luxury brand. I think they most often do handbags. Hmm. Um, but yeah, the sleeves have this interesting, like, thing like this. Like, flayed open? Yeah. So, yeah. I just picked that up, and I priced it, I don't know, I might have priced it at 148 for best offer. So we'll see how that goes. That one seems like kind of 70s, 80s vintage. I could see that. Yeah. Vintage yeah. luxury. Because I noticed that, um, so Lanvin used to do clothes a lot, but I think that they don't do clothes anymore, so that's probably vintage. I don't know too much about it, but I noticed that it's owned by Ralph Lauren, where this, this was, so I'm like, okay, I don't know. If you know more about that brand, like, feel free to, um, pipe in. Is that the right word? <laughs> Pipe in, like pipe, piping. Pipe up, pipe. <laughs> Chime in. Chime, that's Gosh. what it is. Feel free to drop a comment so and let us know sometimes. all about that brand. Chime in. <laughs> pipe in. Um, I also picked this up, and it is J. Crew. It is an older J. Crew tag, but I still picked it up because it was half off, and so it was like $5. Nice. And it's like wool, mostly wool, um, and it's like academia vibes, so I put that in the listing I like title. The, uh, I like the kind of pink colorful designs on the inside. Yeah, it's kind of fun, and it also has, these are called surgeon's cuffs, and it means that um, these buttons on the side of like suit jackets or whatever, they're usually not functional, but these ones are functional. Oh. So if you want to, you can unbutton it and like roll it up and it has this fun like pink lining for the sleeves too. Hmm. Um, yeah, so one thing to know about like surgeon's cuffs, I learned that term from Thrift Life, and it adds value, but I've noticed, especially on Poshmark, when, like, because there was another J. Crew thing that I listed that had that, and it flagged it. Oh, uh, for because medical? Yeah. Yeah. So I just, like, describe what it is, and I don't say surgeon's cuffs anymore, because I don't know how many people are, like, looking for that term. Yeah. But, um,. Yeah. <laughs> On a lot of these platforms, you can't sell things that are like medical devices or anything to do with medical. Yeah. So, yeah, that makes sense why that would flag that. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I figured for $5 I could make a profit on this. I priced it up high, and I'm just accepting offers. Do any of you guys know a better term to use than surgeon cuffs for as a keyword? For the same thing? If you do, yeah. let us know in the comments. That'd be nice to know. Yeah. Such a random, obscure, obscure thing. <laughs> <laughs> so that was an amazing haul. I think that was um, one of my favorites 
from Goodwill, like a Goodwill store. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, overall, the last couple of weeks have been pretty good for sourcing, which is great because uh, the time before that, it was not great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I, you guys probably saw that in the video. It was just kind of like, meh. Yeah. So this one we're a lot happier with. We got stuff we can sell and can sign, and we got some cool clothes for ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think we made sure to come into it with a better attitude, I guess, and we just found yeah. good stuff, so... Yeah, that's yeah. true. So that's it for today's haul. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ryan. This is Tori, by the way. If you haven't been on our channel before, Nifty Thrifties. And uh, yeah, we do lots of bins hauls and thrift hauls and stuff. So if you want to see more of those type of videos, here's a playlist that you can check out from the last year or so where we found all kinds of stuff, including like high-end designer things too at our bins location here. So thanks again for watching. And we'll see you again really soon. Bye.